Hello friends, welcome to TechCube Gate class. My name is Professor Vivek Singh Rathor and I am Assistant Professor in Government Engineering College, Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh. And in this video lecture series, I am dealing with Signal Science System subject and uh, this will be almost uh, lecture 5 of module 4. In module 4, we are dealing with Fourier transforms for a periodic signal. And in this, in the last four lectures, I have completed almost uh, Fourier transform for standard signal, how to represent Fourier transform in magnitude and phase. And uh, we have seen Fourier transform for standard signals like such of unit step, signum of T, uh, gate pulse, triangular pulse and all. So, uh, in the today we will see with more uh, property and uh, first we will start with spectral density. Uh, the Parseval's energy relation and then we'll go for uh, convolution property and then we'll go for integration property. So let's move on further and we'll start our session. So see first topic what we'll be going to see is Parseval Parseval's energy relation. Okay fine. So <coughs> Uh, I think you have heard this uh, word earlier also, but not energy relation. You have heard this word for Parseval's power relation because we have already discussed this topic, uh, Parseval's power relation in Fourier series because Fourier series was for periodic signals. So we have taken uh, the power, how to calculate power from uh, Fourier series. We have seen th uh, that way. Uh, that relation was called Parseval's power relation. Now we will see. Uh, Parseval's energy relation means uh, now we are dealing with a periodic signal. So a periodic signals will calculate. We can calculate energy, and wherever energy is there, power is zero. So we don't need to calculate power. Energy will calculate. So let's see how we'll calculate energy. See, uh, calculating energy, energy formula is you know energy is nothing but minus infinite to infinite f square t dt. This is your formula for calculating energy. This from first module, I am uh, telling you this only. Okay, so uh, you also know that f of t, f of t uh, can be calculated as uh, inverse Fourier transform if you do 1 by 2 pi minus infinite to infinite f of omega e to the power j omega t d omega. This relation also you know. Uh, uh, taking inverse Fourier transform of f omega, you will get this of f t. Directly you can uh, put this f of t in this uh, value. So we can do it like energy E is equal to there minus infinite to infinite is there. f of t into f of t also you can do. So f of t will be there and here we can write 1 by 2 pi minus infinite to infinite f of omega e to the power j omega t d omega and here this dt will come here okay now see in signal system uh, any derivation you can do uh, uh, integ integration will we can change the uh, uh, integration okay so what we can do here is uh, we can do e is equal to minus infinite to infinite f of t we can take inside and f omega can be done outside so see what we will do uh, 1 by 2 pi can be taken outside and uh, here f of omega can be taken outside and f of t can come inside so uh, integration of minus infinite to infinite this will be in bracket let's suppose f of t will be there and then e to the power j omega t and uh, dt can be come inside okay and here d omega can be there and uh, see as you know that uh, f of t f of t Okay, if f of t is real, you know the condition that if f of t is real value, uh, how to check f of t is real or not? When f of omega is equal to f of abstract of minus omega, then you can tell that this value is real value. Okay, this value is real value. So, so can you say that c as you know that f of omega is nothing but minus infinite to infinite f of t e to the power minus j omega t dt hai na? and if you can calculate f of abstract omega what you will get f of abstract omega is good, nothing but uh, this of this f of uh, uh, t will be there e to the power j omega t dt will be there this you know exactly and uh, see 
um, what you can see f of t this equation where my mouse is there minus infinite to infinite f of t e to the power j omega t can be replaced by f of f strict omega so uh, we can do it like see we can do finally that energy is equal to energy this this equation we are now doing uh, 1 by 2 pi will be there uh, this will be there f of omega will be there and this can be represented as f of f strict omega and then d omega can be uh, written at ok fine and then next what we will do see uh, see what uh, we can do if you know uh, let's suppose c is equal to a plus j b ok and then if you know c abstract is equal to c uh, will be a minus j b if you multiply c into c conjugate what you will get under root of uh, a square plus b square directly you can get it and uh, if you can calculate mod of c c c is this if you are uh, dealing with mod and uh, mod of c ka square then what you will get a square plus b square it means that c into c conjugate is nothing but mod of c ka square that means f omega into f omega conjugate can be written as mod of f of omega ka square obviously this uh, this relation this relation can be written as like this so finally what we can do is we can put the value energy is good nothing but 1 by 2 pi minus infinite to infinite mod of f omega square d omega so this is the final relation what we were searching for that is this relation is called as Parseval's energy relation Parseval's energy relation okay so see Parseval energy relation or it is also called as relay relay energy relation this is also called as energy relay relay energy relation now see uh, we are not in a mood to only memorize everything what we want is that we should understand what actually this relation means this relation means that whenever you need to calculate energy for any signal okay whenever you need to calculate energy for any signal what you can do is you can first of all if f of t is given for you and you need to calculate its energy so best way is calculate its Fourier transform you will get f of omega okay okay fine f of omega so let maybe f of omega maybe this something value is there okay now what you do f of omega is there continuous omega uh, so every point every frequency should have some magnitude should uh, will have some magnitude okay so what you do you take magnitude and you do square so mod of f omega square means what at each frequency what is magnitude square square of magnitude of each frequency that is called mod of f omega square hai na? so and what you need to do we are not doing only uh, particular frequency mod of square what you, if you want to calculate energy you need to integrate all this magnitude square integrate all magnitude square and 1 by 2 pi will be there so this uh, Parseval's energy relation can be understand conceptually uh, I will speak in Hindi also अगर आपको uh, पार्सेवल एनर्जी रिलेशन समझ में आ रहा है तो आपको क्या करना होगा कि uh, आपके पास एक स्पेक्ट्रम है ठीक है आपके पास नॉर्मल एफटी है टाइम इफ यू यू आर हैविंग सिग्नल एफटी इन टाइम डोमेन आपके पास सिग्नल है जो एफटी है टाइम डोमेन में ठीक है अच्छी बात है आपने क्या किया उसका फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ले लिया यू हैव टेकन फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म सो व्हाट यू गॉट आपको एक स्पेक्ट्रम मिल गया आपको उसका एनालिसिस मिल गया कि उसका पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी में क्या-क्या कंपोनेंट है नाउ व्हाट यू नीड टू डू uh, हर फ्रीक्वेंसी पे जो कंपोनेंट है उसका मॉड का मैग्नीट्यूड का स्क्वायर कर दीजिए और उसको ऐड कर दीजिए 1 by 2 pi कर दीजिए दैट इज सिंपल पार्सेवल्स एनर्जी रिलेशन नथिंग इज मोर देन दैट सो लेट्स डू इट लेट्स गेट अंडरस्टैंड सी व्हाट आई टोल्ड मॉड ऑफ एफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर है ना मॉड ऑफ एफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर व्हाट यू अंडरस्टूड फ्रॉम दिस सर दिस इज मैग्नीट्यूड स्क्वायर ऑफ ईच फ्रीक्वेंसी each frequency 
हर फ्रिक्वेंसी ईच फ्रिक्वेंसी मैग्नीट्यूड स्क्वायर दैट इज एफ ऑफ ओमेगा अल्टीमेटली व्हाट यू कैन से दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली एनर्जी पर फ्रिक्वेंसी आप स्क्वायरिंग तो करते हैं जनरली अपन हम एनर्जी निकालने के लिए स्क्वायरिंग करते हैं सबका ऐड कर देते तो दिस इज एक्चुअली एक पर्टिकुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी इफ फॉर एनी पर्टिकुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी दिस इज योर एनर्जी मॉड ऑफ एफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर सो मॉड ऑफ एफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर कैन बी रिटर्न एज एनर्जी पर फ्रिक्वेंसी मतलब each frequency component will have this type of energy or when we add when we integrate it then we will get final energy total energy of that signal ye this is the thing which i wanted to tell you because this will lead to energy per frequency can be called as energy spectral density because this word uh, generally uh, it creates confusion in uh, students mind Even, uh, so uh, esd will be called as esd will be called as f of mod of f of omega square mod of f omega square is not normal it is just a uh, energy per frequency har ek frequency ka energy mod of f omega square represent karta hai isiliye is term ko spectral density kaha jata hai density you know na uh, if you are taking population uh, पर यूनिट एरिया सो वॉट यूल गेट पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी आप कोई भी चीज को पर एरिया या कुछ चीज को करते हो तो आपको डेंसिटी मिलती है वैसे ही हर फ्रिक्वेंसी में कोई एनर्जी होगा तो उसको एनर्जी स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी कहेंगे है ना तो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एनर्जी स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी नाउ फाइनली वी कैन कंक्लूड आवर पार्सेबल्स एनर्जी रिलेशन ई एनर्जी कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस इनफाइनाइट टू इनफाइनाइट एफ ऑफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर डी ओमेगा and 1 by 2 pi will be there hai na or it can be written as it can be written as 1 by 2 pi minus infinite to infinite esd into d omega okay and it can also be written as if you want uh, this esd to be written in uh, particular frequency df so uh, see d omega will be there so uh, omega is equal to 2 pi f is there so 2 pi 2 pi cancel so directly you can write minus infinite to infinite esd in f df okay so this relation is very 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 important for uh, understanding energy concept okay now we'll do some problem and uh, now uh, then only you will understand this property or uh, this relation so we'll do some question let's do it one question is there <coughs> you need to find find energy of find energy of let's suppose f of t is given f of t will be equal to let's suppose t into sin of t into pi t square this is your question this question seems to be tough and you need to find energy in first go what you will think that uh, let's calculate it uh, by energy formula so you will get minus infinite to infinite f of square t okay so you will do t square uh, sin t by pi t to the power 4 dt hai na this by this relation you will do but you will uh, go for uh, it is not wrong method but you, it will take very long uh, actually time hai na so we cannot opt for this method in competitive exam so this method will go for long so we'll avoid it okay so better way uh, we need we know that if any signal f, f of t if if you you have uh, you have been given f of t and you need to calculate its energy okay then what is the simplest way to do uh, calculate energy uh, find out its fourier, uh, fourier transform f of omega uh, do its magnitude do square and just integrate minus infinite to infinite 1 by 2 pi and d omega this is the uh, shortest way which can be applied here so let's do it uh, f of t is what your f of t is nothing but t into sin t by pi t whole square this is your fd now you need to calculate what fourier transform for it so fourier transform for it let's uh, do it t into sin square t will be there 
here pi square will be there pi can be written here pi square hai na uh, t square can be written here so i hope that uh, sin square t by t square can be written as t of uh, t by pi square will be there uh, sampling square of t okay this is simple way to write now see as you know that sampling square t for your transform will be what i told you many times to remember this sampling square t for your transform okay so this will be sampling square minus 2 to 2 pi okay this is this should you should remember this uh, thing okay for uh, at least uh, gate pulse and triangular pulse you will feel uh, uh, easy shortcut okay so sampling square t you know exactly uh, you know whenever we multiply any signal with t what we get sampling square t i told you whenever f of t is nothing but uh, fourier transform f of omega so if t is multiplied by f of t what you will get you will get j d f by d omega okay so uh, j d f by d omega so exactly this can be done as j is there okay j is there but you need for d f by d omega this was in uh, frequency only so you need to, uh, for, to do differentiation so what will be the differentiation for uh, unit ram signal unit step signal and what will be the magnitude of unit uh, step will be the slope value what is the slope value slope value is uh, pi minus 0 0 minus minus 2 is pi by 2 so the value will be pi by 2 and here also this slope is decreasing from 0 to 2 so this value will be in negative value and what will be the value it is slope is minus pi by 2 so pi minus pi by 2 the starting point will be minus 2 and plus 2 this is the uh, only df by d omega but you what you need to do j df by d omega so here j can be introduced so what you will write here j also in front of it j will be in front of it so actually t into sampling square t will can be written as like this now what you need to do okay uh, this is written as like this now what you need to do uh, f of t is there you need to do mod okay because actually what you need you need this one na? 1 by 2 pi mod of f omega square d omega hai na? so what you need uh, you need mod ka square so first of all we'll find it mod value okay mod means taking positive value so we'll do okay this is still in frequency domain only and uh, we'll do it like this uh, mod value means uh, this value will be in positive only from negative value also it will come in positive like this will happen okay minus 2 to 2 will be there and uh, uh, the component will be uh, magnitude will be j pi by 2 only you know, because more positive so this is actually mod of f omega this is mod of f omega if this was f of omega you know. now what you need to do you need to do um, uh, integration so integration you can do easily okay so i'll shift here uh, i'll write here uh, see i will write again formula 1 by 2 pi minus infinite to infinite mod of f of omega square d omega this was this is the uh, formula for calculating energy so 1 by 2 pi will be there you know? minus infinite to infinite we need to uh, not we don't we need to go so we can go from minus 2 to 2 and mod of f of omega is nothing but j pi by 2 square you know? we can do uh, squaring portion because mod of f omega is j pi by 2 we need to do square and this will be there so this can be written it as 1 by 2 pi will be there j square is nothing but minus 1 minus 1 will be there pi square will be there and uh, 2 square 4 will be there and here 4 will be there so this can be calculated as uh, 4 4 cancel pi pi cancel so it will be written as minus pi by 2 okay i think we have done one mistake over it because uh, we have not considered this t by pi square actually uh, this was uh, this was also the portion which we have i think left because we have calculated only t of sampling square t but 1 by pi square was left so i think 1 by pi square will be also included here and then we need to calculate 
uh, overall Fourier transform. So 1 by pi square uh, will be multiplied, multiplied 1 by pi square, 1 by pi square will be there. So it will be uh, said as j, uh, j will be j, uh, pi and pi, j by 2 pi will be there. Here also minus j by 2 pi will be there. And then uh, if you take mod, actually when we will take mod, we will take only, uh, uh, will not take j value because mod will, value will be there. So we will have as, uh, we'll have, I will erase it like this. Okay. And it will be called as, I think, uh, uh, 1 by 2 pi. 1 by 2 pi because mod value will be there you know this mod value will be there now what we need to do uh, i'll erase this uh, all value because this is uh, i think certainly uh, we have not considered that value that's why we'll see uh, okay fine um, okay so what we'll do we'll write it uh, 1 by 2 pi will be there okay fine minus infinite to infinite value will be there f of omega square mod of f omega mod is nothing but 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi you know, 1 by 2 pi will take as 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi square you know, square will take and uh, okay d omega will be there and minus infinite it will be minus 2 to 2 value so this value will be 1 by 2 pi will be there uh, 1 by 4 pi square can be taken common and outside and here 4 value will come so 2 uh, sorry 4 4 value will cancel out uh, the value will be 1 by 2 pi cube okay so actually this is final answer actually 1 by 2 pi cube joule joule so uh, see the calculation of energy can be very easy if you see some tough terms uh, by Parseval's energy relation what you need to do just take f of t is there f of omega mod of f omega square it integrate it 1 by 2 pi just simple thing is there you can easily do it okay so we'll solve one more question and we'll try to understand this uh, concept again see one question have been given to you uh, you need to calculate energy for f of t is given that is let's suppose 4 of sampling of 2t is there and then cos of 4t is there this question have, uh, you have been asked to find the energy so ultimately what you will do you won't go with the normal procedure you will do so 4 of sampling of 2t uh, energy can be calculated as 1 of by 2 pi you know, minus infinite to infinite will be, there, will be there f of omega square will be there d of omega will be there okay <sighs> now uh, the first target will be calculating f of omega so uh, 4 of sampling of 2d cos of 4d Fourier transform will be what so let's do it first of all you calculate sampling of 2t Fourier transform sampling of 2t Fourier transform will be see uh, earlier what you have seen uh, let's suppose sampling of uh, sampling of t Fourier transform you know sampling of t Fourier transform you know it is uh, nothing but from this to this minus 1 to 1 and here pi value will be there this we have seen earlier how many times we have seen this uh, to calculate how now what we are doing sampling of 2t we are doing huh? sampling of 2t we are doing so you know that whenever whenever f of t Fourier transform is f of omega and what if you are doing f of 2t then what will happen 1 by 2 f of uh, f of omega by 2 okay this will happen means uh, compression in time domain will lead to uh, expansion in the frequency domain so here also now if you are doing sampling of 2t means uh, time domain you are doing compression so this is actually frequency domain what will happen expansion so how much expansion uh, 2 2 times expansion so this will value will be minus 2 2 2 and magnitude will reduce by half you know? so magnitude will reduce by half this is the uh, Fourier transform for sampling of 2t 
okay now what we'll do sampling of 2t you know uh, 4 also you can multiply 4 if you multiply 4 into so what you will get uh, we'll write here 4 sampling of 2t will be equal to Fourier transform for this will be equal to uh, 2 uh, 2 pi okay so we can write here as minus 2 2 2 and uh, this will be equal as 2 pi this is this now what we are doing 4 of sampling of 2t will be there multiplied by cos of 4 of t so you know the property that if f of t Fourier transform is f of omega and we are doing f of t into cos of something cos of uh, omega naught t so what we will get f of omega minus omega naught plus f of omega plus omega naught divided by 2 this uh, property you know earlier only modulation property so this property can be applied here uh, if you are uh, multiplying any signal with cos of uh, some t so we'll have to shift it so we'll shift f of omega means this uh, will be shifted how much uh, t 4 uh, by 4 so uh, uh, add here 4 so 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 2 plus 4 is 2 so one signal will come uh, 2 and this will be 6 and one will again f of omega plus omega naught so will shift in the left hand side also so here 2 minus 4 is nothing but minus 2 okay and this will be here minus 6 minus 6 minus 2 and the magnitude will reduce by half so what is the magnitude 2 pi so it will reduce by half so only pi will left now actual 4 sampling of cos of 40 is for a transform for this is this now actually what you need to do uh, earlier we need to do that we need to calculate its f of omega f of omega is calculated now we need mod square value from minus infinite to infinite so again i will write here energy formula energy formula is nothing but 1 by 2 pi will be there here uh, value will be there uh, two times uh, for calculating two times you can do one time also so 2 multiplied by uh, you can take the integral from 2 to 6 and mod of f of omega will be taken square d of omega so here we can write as energy is equal to 2 to cancel 1 by pi will be there 1 by pi uh, 2 6 and the mod is value is pi so pi square will come okay d omega will be there so energy will be equal to 1 of by pi and uh, it will be pi square and it will be uh, 6 minus 2 is 4 so answer will be equal to 4 of pi so 4 of pi uh, we can write unit as joule so see this is very easy to calculate if you know some of the property of Fourier transform and then uh, any signal big big signals just uh, by fraction of seconds means uh, by applying some properties you can get directly answer uh, of Fourier transform see so I think uh, by this question you must be feeling confidence that uh, uh, now you can calculate energy by Parseval's relation now we'll see another property that is convolution property so this property is very also very important convolution property convolution property for Fourier transform so see earlier we have seen in LTI system module 2 we have seen uh, for, uh, convolution so what uh, actually used to happen whenever if a signal is given for a LTI system LTI system is there okay and uh, we are calculating the output response for this system let of let's suppose y of t is output okay so whenever a signal and this LTI system has an impulse response let's suppose h of t is impulse response so for calculating y of t y of t can be calculated as uh, convolution of f of t into uh, convolution of f of t and impulse response h of t this uh, is known as convolution for calculating output response of a LTI system so uh, what uh, in convolution property what uh, we need to see is actually f of t when convolves with h of t we get output as y of t so uh, uh, 
if we take uh, fourier transform for f of t okay f of omega we get h of t let's suppose h of omega we get and uh, this is y of omega so if f of omega into h of omega is done will get the fourier transform for y of t means uh, see uh, what i wanted to tell you that if you want to calculate y of t from f of t convolution of h of t you just not need to calculate convolution you just calculate f of omega for your transform for f of t h of t h of omega you can calculate just multiply it you will get the answer very easy process for calculating convolution uh, property so let's try for our sum of signal which we have calculated there by long cut method and now what is the shortest method we can see so we'll see with some property like uh, earlier we have calculated like uh, f of t was let's suppose e to the power minus a t u of t will be there let's suppose impulse response was e to the power minus b t u of t will be there now you have been asked to calculate y of t uh, we can do for your uh, convolution with this so convolution property you already know f of uh, tau h of t minus tau integration d tau so uh, you know this uh, property and you have already calculated this from this proper uh, this mathematical expression in the module 2 but now we are seeing convolution property so convolution property says that if you uh, if you can calculate f of omega okay and if you can calculate h of omega just multiply this you will get y of omega which is a fourier transform for y of t so inverse fourier transform you can get y of t okay then let's do it f of omega can be written as e to the minus at ut f of omega we already know a plus j omega will be there h of uh, omega can be calculated as b plus j of omega will be there now y of omega can be calculated as y of omega will be equal to 1 by a plus j omega into 1 by b plus j omega this can be also written as 1 by b minus a 1 by b minus a will be there so we can write as a plus j omega minus 1 by b plus j omega okay so i think this, this value will be there okay uh, i think uh, because here b plus j omega minus a plus j omega so b j omega j omega cancel b minus a will be there b minus a cancel so again it will come as 1 by a plus j omega into 1 by b plus j omega so here 1 by b minus a will be there okay and uh, if you need to calculate y of t y of t so obviously you need to calculate its inverse fourier transform so inverse fourier transform for this signal will be equal to e to the power minus a t you know, uh, u of t and this will be equal to e to the power minus b t u of t so see the easiest method to calculate uh, this type of signal uh, Fourier transform otherwise it will take e to the power minus a tau u tau fill e to the power minus b t minus tau u t minus tau and then you will calculate from integration 0 to tau and then you will do integration it will take long method this is very shortcut method to calculate uh, convolution property so this is very easy uh, to cal calculate now we'll do one more question then you can understand how we are doing uh, one uh, big problem maybe uh, one more problem i'll take uh, you with you uh, let's suppose this question is there okay this question let's suppose you need to calculate fourier transform for f of t is given for you f of t is nothing but sin of t will be there into sin of 2t will be there and then you need to calculate pi t square will be there okay and you have been asked to calculate for uh, you have been what you have been asked you have to calculate fourier fourier transform for it fourier transform you need to calculate so see how we'll do it first of all we can see f of t as as sine of t into sine of 2t will be there uh, t square is there so t t will be written as like this pi can be taken as outside 
okay and sin t by t why, why we are doing because we can calculate sampling you know? and here also if we do two here and two here then we can do sampling uh, like this so what we will get here the signal can be written as simply f of t will be 2 by pi and uh, sampling of t will be there sampling of 2t will be there okay so <coughs> now this signal is there uh, this signal says that uh, two signals are multiplied actually in time domain so actually one property again uh, here it will be applied here see what i have told you when f of t convolution with h of t then what we, uh, it can also be written as f of omega into h of omega means what was happening uh, this convolution property can be changed to multiplied signal when this time domain signal has been replaced by frequency domain signal so uh, this property is that if uh, if you have been asked to calculate f of f of omega uh, or let's suppose this f of t into h of t f of t into h of t will be if you uh, if you will be asked f of t into h of t now what you need to do uh, what you need to do is uh, this property i wanted to tell you that this property is called as frequency convolution property this uh, property was called as time convolution property okay i will write it as time convolution property and this is called as frequency convolution property okay fine frequency convolution property means uh, uh, f of t is multiplied by h of t can be written as integration of my uh, or in, no, not integration will not uh, I will not write full. I will write here like this: f of omega convolution with h of omega, but one by two pi. See one by two pi. You have seen many times. Okay. So uh, uh, see in the time convolution property is f of t convolution with h of t. You will get in frequency domain multiplication. And when we are doing fre in frequency, we are convolving any signal will get in time domain multiplication simple bus only 1 by 2 pi should be remember that in omega portion 1 by 2 pi is there okay fine so this property uh, i'll mark with uh, red uh, i'll close down this okay this property needs to be remember because this will uh, will be helpful for us okay so uh, now you have been asked f of t because f of t what you have been asked you have simplified it and you have got 2 by pi 2 by pi sampling of t into sampling of 2t now uh, 2 uh, by pi is okay constant term sampling of t into sampling of 2t means in time domain multiplication is there so we can do in frequency domain convolution that is possible so let's see uh, sampling of t uh, frequency domain is frequency domain what you will get you will get minus 1 of 1 into pi this you have remembered uh, i have told you many times to remember it sampling of sampling of 2t will be fourier transform now what in time domain if it is multiply uh, compression then in frequency domain it will be expansion so minus 2 by 2 and uh, see uh, the magnitude will be half so magnitude will be magnitude will be not half whatever scaling factor will be there that will be there 1 by a so here pi was there so pi by 2 will be there now we have understood this uh, sampling of t in sampling of 2t and uh, already uh, 2 by pi is okay uh, outside term uh, so what we'll do we'll do 2 by pi is there and multiplied by 1 by 2 pi will be there this this and f of omega f of omega is nothing but this minus 1 say 1 pi convolution with minus 2 say 2 pi by 2 okay this is your basically uh, this will be your answer for 
calculating Fourier transform for f of t. Uh, this is your finally f of omega but like this you cannot do now so we'll do uh, 2 by pi 2 is to cancel 1 by pi square will be there so 1 by pi square uh, can be uh, written inside also 1 by pi square so 1 by pi uh, we'll write as 1 by pi square here and uh, we need to what we need to convolve this both signal will be there okay uh, i'll write here otherwise you will not get 1 minus 1 by 1 pi minus 2 to 2 pi by 2 okay uh, in convolution you know how to convolve two pulse signal uh, whenever two pulse signal will be there of different width then we will get definitely will get trapezoidal signal so we will get as a trapezoidal signal we'll get, and uh, what will be the uh, width of the rising pulse so rising will be the smallest pulse will be there so this is the smallest pulse uh, two width will be there and it will start from minus one minus uh, i think uh, minus one minus two will be equal to minus three and one plus two equal to three okay so this trapezoidal will start from minus three to minus plus three and what will be the width of the rising so it will be like here and this will uh, the width will be equal to the width of the smallest pulse that is 2 so uh, minus 3 and uh, 2 to minus 1 will be there and this will go on and again the for symmetry it will go on like this and this value will be equal to 1 so this is your uh, trapezoidal pulse and uh, magnitude will be equal to magnet see this slope uh, value will be equal to uh, slope value will be equal to nothing but uh, magnitude uh, multiplication of magnitude so pi square by 2 magnitude will come okay so pi square by 2 and uh, pi square is cancelled so it will uh, look as 1 by 2 and it will look as minus 1 by 2 okay so this is your final output for the signal uh, this is your final output for the signal which you have been asked to calculate Fourier transform for sine of uh, t into sine of 2t by pi t square this uh, signal Fourier transform is this one okay so uh, see the method uh, was very easy uh, you need to understand the property and if you have understand the property how you can calculate the signals like uh, you you you'll be playing with the signals okay by understanding the property now we'll see last uh, one more property uh, one more property we'll see in this lecture uh, that is time integration time integration property and we'll also see frequency integration also okay so uh, time integration property of Fourier transform okay time integration property of Fourier transform what does it mean in integration we need to do and we need to do in time access uh, time domain okay so if you know f of t is if you take Fourier transform we will get f of omega then if you are doing time integration means minus infinite to t let's suppose f of t dt you are doing so you also know that minus integration of minus infinite to t f of t ut uh, f of t dt is uh, i have told you in module i think module 2 also i have told you ki whenever any signal is integrated it is also means that f of t integration of u of t uh, f of t convolution with u of t means whenever f of t is convolved with u of t it uh, represents same as integrating minus infinite to, to f of t dt so it can be written as f of t into uh, uh, convolution with u of t it means that it can also be written as f of omega into as u of omega okay and uh, as you know that f of omega is okay but uh, Fourier transform for unit state signal is nothing but uh, half I think uh, uh, pi delta omega plus 1 by j omega huh. so we can write it as like this and uh, this will be open as f of omega multiplied by pi into delta omega plus f of omega by j of omega so any signal multiplied by d delta of omega will be written as f pi outside f of 0 delta of omega plus f of 
omega by j of omega so many uh, impulse term will come whenever we integrate it so many constant term will appear as impulse function so what we'll do we'll neglect it and uh, we can write it as uh, simply we can write it as whenever a signal is uh, integrated from minus infinite to t f of t dt it is same as if we are taking fourier transform for this type of signal if it it will uh, come as f of omega just divided by j of omega okay so in hindi if i say koi bhi signal f of t ko integrate karna ho minus infinite to t dt hai na to usko uska agar fourier transform lena ho to hum kya kar sakte hain f of omega nikal lijiye aur j omega se divide kar dijiye jaise it is same as uh, agar hum d by dt of f of t karte the और उसका फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म इफ यू टेक देन व्हाट विल गेट जे ओमेगा सामने आ जाता था और एफ ऑफ ओमेगा ये जो डिफ्रेंशिएशन डी बाय डी है इसको आप जे ओमेगा से रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हो और ये जो इंटीग्रेशन है इसको आप वन बाय जे ओमेगा से रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हो ये नॉर्मल uh, कंफ्यूजन है जो हम यहाँ से वी आर टेकिंग फ्रॉम इट सो लाइक दिस इज देर नाउ विल आई टेक यू वन क्वेश्चन एंड वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कि ये प्रॉपर्टी कहाँ पर यूज आती है जैसे हम विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट लाइक दिस Uh, you need to find the fourier transform find the fourier transform take okay, of let's suppose g t is there hai na using fourier transform of signal f of t aapko f of t se g of t nikalna hai jaise ek signal ye hai let's suppose ye signal aisa chal raha hai theek hai ye signal continuously hai ye aisa hai aur ye aisa bad gaya theek hai okay and uh, this is your actually g of t this is actually g of t its magnitude is 1 okay minus half to half value magnitude is slope is 1 and not slope magnitude is this value is 1 and f of t from where you need to calculate g of t is minus half to half and value is 1 this is your f of t what you need to do you need to calculate the fourier transform of g t using fourier transform of f of t so we'll calculate it okay so you know dekhiye this signal f of t ye jo minus half se half hai if we will integrate from minus half to half what we'll get we'll get as a ramp signal only obviously aap ek agar constant value hai if you are having a constant value from a particular time if you'll integrate it then what will happen it will go on go on go on go on like a ramp so actually g of t actually this is uh g of t can be said as integration of minus from uh, uh we can do as minus infinite to t f of t dt will be called as g of t ye aap seedha seedha is g of t ko dekh ke bol sakte hain ki agar aap f of t ko integrate karte jayenge to aapko g of t mil jayega and we know the property ki agar aap koi signal ko f of t is integrated from minus infinite to t we can also do as f of omega can be written or isko aap likh sakte hain f of omega into uh, isko aap aisa bhi likh sakte hain f of t convolution with u of t jisko aap uh, you can also write as f of omega into u of omega jo ki hai pi delta omega plus 1 by j omega so you uh, need to calculate actually f of omega aur f of omega calculate karna kitna aasan hai matlab agar aapko question mein diya hua hai ye signal let's suppose this signal is given minus half say half value and one value is there you need to calculate its fourier transform so aapko pata hai a samne kya rehta hai area rehta hai to ye ho jayega 1 into 1 to 1 ho jayega sampling of omega into width by 2 width kitna hai 1 1 by 2 matlab 1 by 2 ऐसे भी लिख लेते हैं तो इस सिग्नल का जो फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म है वो ये है तो फाइनली हम लिख सकते हैं जैसे हम लिख रहे थे f ऑफ ओमेगा मतलब यहाँ पे हम लिख सकते हैं सैम्पलिंग ऑफ ओमेगा बाय 2 इंटू पाई ऑफ डेल्टा ओमेगा प्लस 1 बाय जे ओमेगा जो आप इसको लिख सकते हैं देखिए पाई ऑफ सैम्पलिंग ऑफ ओमेगा बाय टू डेल्टा ऑफ ओमेगा प्लस सैम्पलिंग ऑफ ओमेगा बाय टू by j omega jisko aap yahan likh sakte hain dekhiye koi bhi signal whatever signal is there if it is multiplied by delta of omega to yahan zero aa jayega aur sampling of zero kitna hota hai sampling of uh, sampling of zero ki value aap isko yahan aisa likh sakte hain 
sampling of zero delta omega plus sampling of omega by two omega omega by two j of omega. A sampling of zero can be written as one value because it will start from one. It will it will go like this. Okay, this value will be so it can be written as pi of delta omega plus sampling of omega by two by j of omega. So this is your uh, Fourier transform of g t. So this can be written as g of omega. So this is your answer to the question uh, which you have been asked. So this is very easy for you to understand the process. Now if you have been asked. Uh, one question I am giving you homework. You can solve it like this. Uh, the same f of t uh, for it, from f of t you need to calculate uh, Fourier transform. Now you you have been asked to calculate the signal like this. This will be there and this will be there. Okay, this is there. This is value is minus half. This value is equal to half, and uh, mm, uh, this value is equal to minus half. This value equal to half. Okay. And now this signal is let's suppose p of t signal is there. Now what you need to calculate its Fourier transform. You need to calculate, you uh, know, using using Fourier transform of f of t. F of t के Fourier transform से आपको p of t का Fourier transform calculate करना है. आसान है. Integration करना है. जैसे मैंने आपको आधा चीज तो मैंने आपको यहीं पे करके दिखा दी. उसके बाद आपको थोड़ा सा उसको इधर उधर shift करके. मैं आप अभी भी बता दे रहा हूँ कि gt को आप थोड़ा मोड़ा shift करेंगे ऊपर नीचे आगे पीछे तो आपका answer आ जाएगा. तो you can do it. Uh, post your answer in the uh, Telegram group. So uh, we'll close today lecture with this much. Now for next lecture we'll go for uh, I think uh, distortion, uh, distortion, uh, distortion less transmission and uh, what are uh, power spectral density also we'll see uh, some of the things and uh, what is 3 dB frequency and uh, low pass filter so bandwidth of that we'll see in the next lecture uh, till then this lecture uh, if you have liked uh, then please uh, click on the like button and uh, comment comment us uh, whether you are uh, understanding or not uh, what uh, your feedback is there because it is a feedback system if you will give uh, negative feedback then we will try to improve if you give positive feedback then we will go on with this uh, so a feedback is must uh, and uh, if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it so that you will get uh, continuous notification of uh, new lectures and try to share as much as possible with the students because uh, this channel has been made uh, especially for uh, helping students only student community we are not here to earn any amount of money from this because we are not going to monetize this channel so the main and sole purpose uh, by ta for taking out uh, extra time and recording this much lecture is only for uh, you uh, you all people uh, so that you all people can, can get empowered and you can get uh, you can clear the exam with uh, if you are having uh, cr uh, crunch of uh, means you are having facing problem uh, financially so uh, okay for this lecture this much only tab tak ke liye tata bye bye see you have a good day jai hind